In this presentation, we are going to look at how to uh, you, uh, perform hierarchical clustering with SPSS. Now, the version of SPSS I'm using is version 21. Now, if you're looking at this in YouTube, I advise uh, going up to full screen because it's makes it it's the easiest uh, way of looking at it. The data set I'm going to use is called smallcluster.save, and uh, you can download it here at K.O.B.R.I.N. Dublin.wordpress.com and essentially I'll just come back to this in a second but essentially the procedure we're going to follow is analyze classify hier hierarchical cluster and we're going to use default options or it's actually hierarchical cluster rather than clustering so let's go to SPSS and have a go with this so here is small cluster there so essentially what we have is the weight in kilos and height in centimeters of uh, as you can guess there it's a it's a a couple of dogs so anyway so what we go and do is go to analyze and then we go right down here to classify and then we go to hierarchical clustering so that's a good time to sort of pause and just make a quick note of that analyze classify clustering now what we're going to do is we're going to select the two numeric variables height and weight and the name variable we're going to put down here as label cases by name so essentially it's a sort of descriptive variable that just describes each case uniquely. We're going to quickly look at the uh, the default options, just how to sort of adjust them. We can select an uh, agglomeration schedule and a prox proximity matrix. So we'll actually, let's put, you select both of those. Plots, let's put in a dendrogram. And we'll put in an icicle plot for, yeah continue that and now here is the most important thing this is the algorithms used to decide how uh, cases how items or in this case how dogs get clustered so the first thing we look at here is the clustering method so there's actually quite a few there's about seven there's seven uh, clustering techniques there so these are algor algorithms to decide which two cases should be uh, joined now I'm going to sort of use Ward's method it's the most uh, it's it gets widely accepted and uh, it's most widely regarded uh, clustering method. Now there's also uh, measures of how uh, closely the uh, cases are um, uh, are are similar to each other. So what I'm going to use is the squared Euclidean distance but there's other types of measures there. So they're, they're very similar uh, Euclidean distance actually one's just the square root of the other or the square we have the po uh, cosine Chebyshev block Minkowski customized there's a couple of them there so I'm going to use the square root Euclidean distance um, are we going to standardize our values not in this case but you can standardize some values uh, standardization is something that we'll, I'll sort of not um, I'll discuss it separately anyway so we're going to use all those there uh, that's pretty much everything you can do so I'm going to press OK there is the old output so here is the um, first off we have the proximity matrix here again I'm just going to sort of scroll out there and what we have here is a matrix a distance matrix from uh, each dog each case uh, to each case so for example Benny and Beefy they, they have a very small distance measure so those two dogs are very similar whereas Lulu and Beefy are extremely dissimilar from one another they have a very high uh, value on the proximity matrix by the way this matrix here as you can probably tell is a symmetric matrix so 4.229 4.229 10.831 10.831 and so on so it's actually a symmetric matrix there's a couple of matters here about lord uh, ward's linkage and it's essentially how it's the agglomeration schedule there so it's just which two cases get joined first 16 and 17 there get joined quite quickly and uh, 9 and 10 get joined quickly and 6 and 8 let's actually have a look at 6 and 8 go back here 6 and 8 uh, let's see so 6 and 8 they have Charlie and Champ have a, a d dissimilarity of 0.438 so they're those are um, two very similar dogs okay uh, that's the vertical uh, vertical icicle plot that's best described in another case it's essentially what we're looking at there is how quickly they get uh, joined up for example loco and lemmy dogs uh, 17 and 16 they are the first two to get joined so they presumably have a very small dissimilarity matrix uh dissimilarity value 
and this is the dendrogram there finally and it's essentially just a, it depicts the the clusterings of each dog so we have lemmy loco lulu laddie lassie up here charlie champ chewy Chew, and so on and ben billy ben billy beefy down here that's so we have three different types of clusters of dogs you can probably tell by the first letter about which uh, of the name which uh, cluster each dog is in okay that is the end of that presentation